the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Good time for the shadow gang to hit Diablo? Yeah, it's kind of scattered around, isn't it? Say, have you read that paper, or are you just uh, using it to keep the desk clean? No need to read it. Shadow gang seems to have a priority in the headlines. Mm. Well, the reward has gone up to $3,000 for the capture. This 44 makes one of the best little shadow catchers you ever saw. Oh, Lofty, that's what every lawman in the territory has thought. But no one's been able to catch him. Annie, you're not starting to believe that talk about the shadow gang being supernatural, are you? Well, of course not, but... Well, the fact remains that they never leave a trail. They just vanish without any tracks. Men riding horses are bound to leave tracks. Then why hasn't anyone been able to find any? It's a good question. Well, if they ever hit around Diablo, you will have to come up with a good answer. Yeah, I will. Speaking of them hitting around here... Hi, what are you talking about? The Shadow Gang? Yes, Tag. Are you going to ride out to meet the payroll stage? That's what I was about to say when Little Dynamite came in. I think I'll go... Figure they're going to try and rob the stage? Tag, Lofty and I were talking. You know better than to interrupt. As I was saying, I think I'll meet the stage at Rainbow Canyon. Well, that's a good idea. There's no use in taking any... What do you suppose the Shadow Gang hides out? Maybe you didn't hear what I said, young man. Gosh, Annie, I was just asking a question. Well, Tag, you've interrupted three times. Now, suppose you go on outside and play. But, Annie... Tag, better do what your sister says. All right. And please don't slam... Hiya, Billy. What's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. It's just my sister and Lofty. They're always yelling at me. Yeah, I know what you mean. My folks are the same way. I just can't wait till I grow up. Then I can do anything I want to do. Yeah, me too. It's pretty tough getting along with older folks, all right. Nobody understands us. That's the trouble. Yeah, that's sure the truth. You and Tom are alone? Nah, I'm waiting for my pop. He's over at the general store buying some groceries. Hmm. Hey, let me try that. I guess it'll be okay. Bet you can't hit that sign over there. That doesn't look too hard. Say, that's pretty good. Then watch me. You didn't deliberately do a tag, but the damage is already done. And being sorry doesn't help. You might have hurt somebody seriously with this thing. I didn't mean it, Dad. We were just shooting that sign over You're there. just as much to blame, young man. Me? What did I do? We'll talk about it later. Get your pony. But, Pop! 
up. Do as I say, Billy. If you're not at the ranch in 20 minutes, you'll get a tannin. You gonna keep the slingshot, Annie? Yes, Tag. Until you learn that the only place to shoot this thing is out in the open, where there aren't any people or horses. Gosh, sakes. The guy can't have any fun. I guess we're really in for it now. We probably won't be able to play together for at least a week. Yeah. They'd sure be sorry if we got killed or something. Or just up and disappeared. You know what we ought to do to teach them a lesson? What? Run away. That sure make them sorry, all right. Ah, uh, but I guess you'd be afraid. Not afraid of anything. Me either. You got any money? Well, I got a dollar at home. I was saving up for a new pair of boots, but... I guess these will last me a while. I got almost two dollars. That ought to be enough to grub stake us. Where'll we go? Just hit the trail. We'll think of something. Maybe cow punching or ranching of some kind. You might even find some gold. Or catch yourselves a couple of outlaws and get a big reward. Sure. And when we're real rich and come back to Diablo, and they'll be crying and begging us never to leave again. How soon do you want to leave? The sooner the better. I'll pick up my stuff and meet you at that general store in about an hour. We can stock up on some grub before we set out. All right, I'll be there. Right, partner. <laughs> Clothes. Where do you think you're going? Can't see where it'd make any difference to you. But your information, I'm pulling up stakes. You mean you're leaving? Yeah, and I'd appreciate it very much if you didn't bother me, because I got a lot of things to do. Tag Oakley, you put those clothes right back in that drawer this very minute. No use trying to stop me, Annie, because when a fella makes up his mind about something, no woman's going to change it. Oh, woman! Now you listen to me, young man. Did you hear what he said? Well, what are you grinning about? He's serious. Sure, he's serious, Annie. But there's nothing to worry about. Oh, he's just a youngster. Annie, I was nine when I first ran away. I was gone exactly four hours. Look, Annie, this is something just about every kid goes through sooner or later. If you try to stop him, that's only going to make him more determined. You mean we, we should just let him leave? Mm-hmm. You see, Tag's going to feel a lot worse if he thinks we don't care one way or the other. I'll bet you my saddle he's back here before nightfall like a scared pup. What if something should happen to him? Nothing's going to happen to him. Even if he stays out all night, the only thing that'll bother him is an overworked imagination. I don't know, Lofty. I... Annie, you've got to let him get it out of his system. If you don't, you're going to be worried sick every time he's five minutes overdue. I'm leaving now. You got everything, Tag? Everything I need. And don't you try and stop me, Lofty. Of course not. Lots of luck to you. So long. So long, Annie. So long, Tag. You write to us once in a while, won't you? If I get a chance to, I might be pretty busy, though. We understand. Here's an extra dollar, Tag. Might need some extra food for the trip. Go on, you can pay me back if you ever buy this way again. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Well, you, you might as well take this long tag. It might come in kind of handy on the trail. Yeah. Well, thanks. So long. So long, Tag. Guess it's pretty certain nobody cares whether I go or not. Tag, you know we'd rather have you stay at home. When a fellow makes up his mind, there's no use in any old folks trying to change it. Gumdrops, chocolate, and jelly beans, sarsaparilla, and canned beans. Yep, we got everything. Diablo's gonna miss you, boys. Maybe, but certain people we know don't give a hoot what happens to us. And those certain people are gonna be mighty sorry. Did you tell your folks you were leaving? Nah, I left them a note. Thought it'd be easier on them. Now they'd probably be crying and begging me not to leave. Yeah. We 
wish I'd said goodbye. Oh, don't worry, Annie. They'll be back. Billy Reynolds was with him. You suppose his parents know? Oh, they probably did the same thing we did. Told him to be sure and right. Wished him luck. Well, I've got to meet that stage. You know, Tag will probably be home by the time I get back. Wait a minute, Lofty. I'm going to go with you. Maybe I won't worry so much about Tag if I'm with you. There she comes, boys. Disappeared, Annie. Not a trace of him. What happened to that shadow catcher of yours? You can't catch what you can't see. Well, at least they didn't get the payroll. Lofty, we've got to get Dave to the doctor. You lead Target in and I'll drive the stage into town. Then we'll come back and see if we can pick up a trail. Look at that. It's a ghost town. Sure looks spooky, doesn't it? Nah. Not to me. Looks like a swell place to spend the night. You mean sleep there? Sure, why not? Looks it's a roof over our head. It's gonna be dark soon. I don't know, Tag. Come on, I'll race you. here somewhere. Good. At least we won't have to sleep in the dark. You like cold beans? Sure. Love them. I'll fix up some grub. Why don't you water the horses and take them around back? Okay. Candy? No, thanks. I don't feel so good. Me either. Because the cold beans spoiled our dinner. Yeah. Sure, it's dark in here and cold, too. Hey, you hear 
something? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It sounds like horses. You, you suppose it's the ghost riders? I don't know. Rio, take the horses behind that old barn there. Why don't you go outside and see what it is? Not me. Why don't you go? Oh, um, it's probably just the wind anyway. I'm pretty sleepy. I think I'll go to sleep. Yeah. of anything. Are you? Nah. What should I be scared of? folks have learned their lesson by now, don't you? Sure. They're plenty sorry we left. That's what I was thinking. Reckon we'll have to stay here tonight, though. We might get lost trying to get back tonight. Guess we can leave first thing in the morning, though. Yeah. And will our folks ever be glad to see us? Home safe and sound. They sure will. and your ideas. Those kids have been gone all night. Now, Annie, take it easy. But they're probably on their way home right now. Well, just in case you're wrong again, I'm gonna go try and find them. The Shadow Gang in this territory, Tag and Billy could be in real trouble. Annie, your imagination's working overtime. Stop worrying. I'm not worried, Lofty. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sorry to leave this place. Me either. I didn't sleep hardly at all last night. Want some breakfast? Have a chocolate drop. No, thanks. Doesn't sound too appetizing, does it? Let's get our horses. OK, we can pack the stuff on the way back. Bad luck to whistle in a ghost town? Who said? I don't know. I must have heard it someplace. Brings out the spirits. Hey! What was that? I don't know. Come on. and Diablo wouldn't be too good. We'd have to give up a perfect hideout. Holy Toledo. You guys are the Shadow Gang. You're a bright kid. What'll we do with them, boss? The old well over there ought to be good and deep. Yeah, they wouldn't find them there for years. You boys go take off those old boards. Right. Stop it. Let's go, let me go, you! Let me go! <laughs> 
make some trouble, Lofty. Just hold still, kid. When you hit bottom, you won't feel a thing. Think we got room in the Diablo jail for three shadows, Annie? We'll make room. Come on, boys. Pick up your friend. Come on. I'll never run away again, Annie. I promise. Me too. Boy, will I be glad to get home. Your folks will be glad to see you too, Billy. Lofty and I stopped by the ranch and told them we were coming out to look for you kids. You got here just in time. <laughs> Thanks to Pixie. She let us here. Hey, Annie, what's that the Shadow Gang has on their horses' hooves? Oh, that's rawhide tag. It's an old Indian trick they used to keep from leaving tracks. Gosh, I'll have to try that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Come on, you cowboys. Let's go home. Well, I hope you've learned a lesson, Tag. One you won't forget. I'll say I have. Running away from troubles never makes them any easier. You have to face them and beat them. You know Annie doesn't like to punish you, Tag. Now and then it's got to be done for your own good. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. I really am. Oh, it was no trouble at all, Tag. Ah, oh, sis, you really did care when I left town, didn't you? Oh, sure, Tag. You took my only can opener. Oh, you're just kidding me. Stay out of trouble now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and don't slam. <laughs> <laughs> 